the study looked at 26 countries. Currently we don't include Peru, but we will do. We'll include Peru in the next few months. And it looks at the national systems in place in those countries and to what extent do they uh, create an environment which is good for international collaboration in higher education. And not just at mobility of students, but also mobility of programs, so transnational education, delivering education in another country, and also collaboration in research, which is fundamental to international higher education. Um, in terms of the highlights, uh, there are many. So we created, we collected 960 plus elements of information to allow us to compare these countries. But the highlights, we would say that uh, it's clear that internationalization of higher education is becoming more and more important to more national governments. It's becoming, they are realizing the benefits that can be gained for economic benefits, but also support in building the capacity for teaching and, and for research. Um, we also, it was clear that although there are many aspects of internationalization of higher education, the main focus has been on student mobility. So visa policies that support students and academic mobility and, um, and also scholarships uh, that are in place to support student mobility. At a national level, the challenges quite often are uh, maybe financial. Uh, you know, it, it sometimes countries maybe see other, prior, other uh, factors as being the priorities, national priorities. In actual fact, international higher education can be a solution to many of those national challenges. So uh, it's a, a, I guess the challenge can be sometimes a, a culture shift and a mind shift to, to understand more about how to embed international higher education and the benefits that can come from that. Countries can look at this information that we've collected and can what well, they can cherry pick the learnings if they want. They can see what the successes of a country like Germany or Malaysia and say and look at what the steps they have taken and and see what they can do themselves, what that what Peru could do to learn from these other countries. Uh, but I think generally an important lesson is um, that international higher education policies need to be coordinated. There needs to be a coordinated approach because if you want to, for example, if you want to increase student mobility to a country, uh, you could fund it and you could set systems up in universities, but if you don't have the visa policies to facilitate it, it's, you're going to struggle. Uh, and so it's coordinating all of the different um, approaches and policies. Thank you.